<laughs> yo, yo, yo! What up guys and welcome back to another one! And today I have a treat for y'all. It's not the most action-packed video. It's not the most intriguing video. It's not the most kill em all hunting video. But it's a video that you guys have requested a ton. And I mean an absolute ton. I'm always getting questions from you guys saying, Hey Bobby, what's that big battery on the back of your GoPro? Hey Bobby, what mic is that that you plug into your GoPro? All kinds of questions regarding all the cameras, all the laptop, computer, cameras, this camera, GoPro, all of them. Bobby, what do you use? So, that's what we're going to go over today. I'm going to go over all my camera equipment and I'm going to show you each individual piece to give you an idea of what all it takes to do what I do. And I know a bunch of you uh, have started uh, vlogging your own hunts and just recording them to take the footage home. Maybe you don't have a YouTube channel or anything, but if you were looking into uh, recording your hunts, this video will help you a lot just getting started and not having to bust the bank to do so. Because I'll tell you what, I still, still have my original equipment that I started with. I, uh, this camera right here is uh, a Sony A5100. I will try to show it here in a little bit, but I'm going to be, be recording on it the whole time. But if you want to look it up on Google, this is a Sony A5100. This is actually Flair's old camera that he started his channel with, and then he had bought a bigger one, and then I bought it from him. Kind of a pass me down old item, you know? Pretty special. So I never really want to get rid of this camera. It's really special to me. But what we're going to do is we're going to go inside. We're going to go downstairs. I'm going to get in my blind bag. I'm going to pull out all my camera stuff, and we're going to explain them to you all. So, we are down here in Bobby's little hunting man cave, as you can tell. I've showed you guys a long time before, but it's been a little while. This is where Flair and Austin and John sleep on the old fold-out couch. And then I got my little editing station. I got all the essentials like caffeine and Gatorade sitting around like usual. Kind of like an old Call of Duty Xbox player here. And then here's the old blind bag. Here's one. What else we got? Oh, look at that duck's white beanie. It looks a little rustic and a little <laughs> dirty, don't it? Uh, and then, here's the old money maker there. That's the old head mount right there. We'll get to talking about that. And then, what else we got in here? Here's a couple different bases for the GoPro that I like to use. That one. That one. And here's my GoPro 5 with a clip on it. We'll explain that. Um, what else? Oh, look at, oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, don't, don't mind all the old baby stuff. This is also a storage area. Yeah, I, I like to call this place Bobby's Little Hunt and Man Cave, but it's a partial storage area as well. I know I've told you guys before, but if you haven't checked out them lanyards, I'll link these bad boys down below. You need to go check them out. They're all back in stock. What else we got in here? A lot of Fiachi shells. That's about it. Then I got my old computer. Oh yeah, and then I got some stuff in here. So, I have dug out all of my go-to items here, and I want to explain each and every one to you to let you really get a feel on what it takes to make these videos every time. So, first off, we're going to start with the most important. We've already went over the big camera. You guys know what that is. So, the most important piece of equipment that I own, the most just relatable, the... One that has done the most for me is this guy right here. I have had this ever since I started the YouTube channel. And what it is is a GoPro 3 Plus, and it has an extended battery on it. Now, this is a Brunton brand. It's just an Amazon brand that they had for a long time on Amazon, and I don't believe they have that brand anymore, but they do have other brands. So uh, what? how this works here is the GoPro 3s, and fours, the three pluses and the fours, any of them, the threes, three pluses and the fours, will accept this big battery. Now the reason why I use it is because I usually leave it on all the time, not recording, but just on and I'll hit this button to record and stop recording, record and stop recording on my head. Now this big battery, what's nice about it is when it's extra cold like it is now, when it's literally down in the single digits, maybe down in the twenties and we're out there for three, four, five hours at a time, this camera will go dead, so I'll have to put in another battery on that bad boy. And this camera will go dead, so I'll have to... I literally will go through three batteries on the GoPro 5 uh, in one hunt, usually when it's really cold. But this bad boy will last me literally two to three hunts without having to charge it. I charge it every time just to make sure, 
but this thing is an absolute lifesaver, especially in the cold. I use it for all the magnet fishing videos, put it on the chest, and what makes it extremely, extremely, extremely versatile is that I have a lavalier mic for it. Now this is just a regular mic that uh, you hang right here. You've all seen me with it in front of my neck, and it just plugs right into the side like that. So I usually run it around the back of my neck, plug it in right here, and what it does is just it gives, gives me a lot better quality audio for you guys on the videos. If I didn't run that mic, it would be really staticky, uh, the, the, the quality of the audio would be extremely low. You'd probably barely be able to even hear me if I didn't run that mic. So uh, th this lavalier mic just picks up awesome, awesome, awesome quality uh, audio. Next is my GoPro 5. Now what I do usually is I run it on this clip. And this clip is valuable for a couple different reasons. I can turn it around and I can put it right on my hat. Boom. There she is. Or I can turn it the other way and fold it back and then like on a silhouette decoy I can clamp it on the top of a silhouette decoy, kind of put it behind me, and it gets that rear shot of me pulling up and shooting the birds. Now, I do have like two or three different batteries for this 5. If you guys purchase the 5, I would recommend buying a few more batteries. And buy yourself extra batteries for sure, because in cold weather, like I said, they go down fast. Now, the audio quality is not near as good as the 3 Plus with the mic, but... If you're not in any wind and you're not like rubbing up against this thing, it's not too bad. The, act, the video quality is actually a little bit better than the 3 Plus, but I really like the 3 Plus to have on my head most of the time. Only thing is, is this head mount. I'll show you how I put her on here. Oh yeah, Bobby's old head mount. There she is. But I usually put it on like so. And it just fits over the top of the head. Uh, the, I don't even think this is a GoPro brand head mount. They make all kinds of different brands of these things. So you can pick them up on Amazon. All this stuff you can pick up on Amazon fairly, fairly cheap. But back to the GoPro 5, I run these two mounts as well. Now, these are just little, like, handlebar mounts. And what I do is, like on this one, I can put it on a mojo pole. Or on this one... I can mount it to something on a truck going down a road or something a little bigger. But these are nice, just different mounts. Like I said, I like using these, uh, these just regular square base mounts so that GoPro sits on there. And a lot of times I'll use these mounts with the GoPro 5 to move around in the kill hole. If I put the camera out in the kill hole where I think the birds are going to be landing, I'll usually have it on this base because it's really short to the ground. It doesn't stick up very tall so it won't scare the birds. And it's really stable because it's got such a big platform. So before we get away from the GoPros and move on to the other camera here, uh, I have a lot of I get I get a ton of questions from you guys saying, Bobby, I want to buy a GoPro to start filming my hunts. What should I get? Uh, honestly, guys, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, I know now they make a different adapter for these bad boys for the fives. And uh, so you can put an audio plug in it for a mic like this one. So if I was to tell you anything, any of the GoPros are pretty much the same. Uh, I would recommend you guys getting an extended battery if you have that option. And get yourself a mic so your audio quality is good. <clears throat> Extra batteries. Extra batteries if you don't have this bad boy. But if you have this bad boy, you don't need extra batteries. But if you already have a GoPro and you're like, man, I want one of them batteries because mine dies all the time. Just go on Amazon, go up in the search bar and type in, if you have a GoPro 3, GoPro Hero 3 extended battery. That's all you have to put in there. And for the 5, GoPro Hero 5 extended battery, you should be able to find one. So, back to what I was saying. My preference on GoPros, I really don't have one. I haven't got to... Uh, try the new 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 GoPro. I've heard they're really awesome in the video stabilization and everything. I really want to try one of them bad boys. So if you guys have tried the new GoPro, drop a comment down below and let me know how that bad boy works because I am interested in getting one, especially if the video stabilization is that good and if the audio quality is decent, I want it. So let me your boy know down below. Now, 
for all my pictures. I take some of my thumbnails. I actually take a lot of my thumbnails with the camera that you guys are on right now. But for like a lot of my Instagram like dope photos, I use this bad boy. And this is actually a very, very reasonably priced DSLR. This is a Nikon D3300. It's nothing special. I think uh, stock these things are like four or five hundred bucks. Not to, nah, it might only be like 350 bucks. I'm not even sure anymore. But I did put a 50 millimeter Nikon lens on that sucker. And let me tell you the shots that this lens gets. Whoo! I can tell you guys, it really doesn't matter um, what camera you have. I mean, obviously it does matter. But um, learning your camera. A lot of you guys have been getting a hold of me and being like, man, I want to take better pictures like you. I want my photos to look like yours. Well, I can tell you one thing, is that I do shoot in manual RAW, so RAW mode, which means it's not in auto, it's not going to get rid of any information. Basically, when I take that picture, all the information that I took is there. When you put it in auto or any type of format like that, it gets rid of a lot of information, like when it turns it into a JPEG file or something like that. It gets rid of a lot of information, so when you pull it into your editing software, you don't have as much material information in that photo to make it look really, really good. So, so all of the big time photographers shoot in raw manual mode. It's basically just learning your camera, adjusting your exposure, adjusting your frame rate, adjusting your shutter speed, adjusting your aperture, your f-stop, all those things. It takes time to learn, but once you learn it, your pictures are going to be turning out ridiculous. It's something that you can really hone into and learn. It's a lot of fun. But back to this, the D3300, this is what me and my wife have. She has one and I have one. We shoot weddings with these. You don't have to go buy the most expensive gear, guys. Like I said, a lot of YouTubers out there have $2,500 cameras that they use to do this. Mine's a $400, $500 camera. For pictures, a lot of YouTubers or photographers have $2,000, $4,000, $6,000 dollar cameras. You're looking at a mm, probably a $700 setup right there at most. So again, guys, again, learn your equipment before you go spending a lot of money on equipment you don't know how to run. Learn a camera that's reasonably priced. Learn it. The more you learn that camera, the better your pictures will be coming out. My, that's that's my two cents. Oh, and real quick, all of my GoPros, you guys have asked me a ton what I uh, what settings I have them on, and I always, 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 always have them on uh, 1080 60. So the resolution is 1080, the frames per second is 60, and the viewing is on wide. You can put it on wide, narrow, medium, extra wide, all these different things, but I just keep all mine on wide. So 1080, 60 wide. Now, like on my magnet fishing videos that you guys watch all the time, I use a chest mount. Now this just goes over, I'm sure you've seen a lot of the, U uh, the fishing YouTubers wearing these. Just a GoPro uh, chest mount. That's what I use for the magnet fishing videos. I never really use it for any type of hunting videos. So, above cameras, above batteries, one thing that's so important. So you have your cameras, you have your batteries, you have all your essentials, all your mounts, right? Boom. So many times before I invested in this little case, and then all of my darn SD cards that go in it. Yeah, these are all SD cards, all 64 gig or bigger SD cards just backup SD cards. If you guys haven't used SD cards a lot, they tend to go bad, especially if they get moist at all, like hunting when you're outside and it's sprinkling. If that SD card, see, see, look at my uh, GoPro right here. I have a little hole cut right there, and right behind it is the SD card. This camera has not, it hasn't ruined, but the weather has ruined probably five to six SD cards, and they're all 64 gigabytes, so that doesn't get cheap at all it doesn't get cheap <laughs> always 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 I have to have backup SD cards in my blind bag with all my cameras at all times it doesn't matter if I'm hunting doing magnet fishing videos shooting pictures it does not matter I always have I've learned that 
I'm a dummy if I don't take extra uh, SD cards with me because they tend to go bad all the time. I want to show you guys this. For those really, really cold days, I, uh, when, when, you know, just batteries are dying and I'm out there all day, I will use a portable like this one. It's a portable charger. You can actually start a, uh, truck or car off this little bad boy right here. So what it is, it's just a portable little charger that it holds a ton of battery, a ton of energy, and uh, you can just plug your cameras right into this bad boy and uh, charge them in the blind. Same thing with this one. This is a new one I got, and uh, this was sent to me by Dakota Lithium. It's a little Dakota Lithium little box and has little 12 volt plugs in it like so that you can take and look at this. Check it out. Look at this. It has lights on it. Isn't that cool? Cool little deal. But in the uh, cold, as hunters, as waterfowlers, we're always in the cold. And um, I can tell you batteries do not like it, like I've been stressing. It's one of my main issues all the time uh, when I'm hunting and filming in the extreme bitter cold weather is batteries. I mean, they tend to go dead all the time. It's, it's the primary battle of these cameras. So, I stay packed up with chargers, extra batteries, all the above. Oh, oh, I was getting a little warm down there in the basement. But like I said at the beginning of this video, this isn't a crazy, action-packed, entertaining video. This is for all you guys that have asked me about my camera equipment. And especially it's for all you guys that are now wearing the GoPros on your head. Believe me, I've seen a ton of you guys, a ton of pictures of you guys out there wearing the GoPros on your head. And I don't want to take full credit for that, but it makes me pretty darn proud either way. When I started this YouTube channel, there were so many other YouTubers and, and people saying, that GoPro on your head looks stupid. Why are you wearing that on there? Blah, 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 blah. Well, this is why, because this is where we are now. But I really do hope I covered everything for you guys. If I missed something, or if you want to know more about something, drop a comment down below and say, hey, Bobby, you forgot to talk about this, or I'm wondering about that. Drop it down below and I'll get to your comment. I have a road trip coming up, so I'll be able to reply to each and every comment on there. Your boy's gonna be bored, so make sure you drop a comment. But if you haven't, you need to go check out the Ducks website, see everything we got on there. We got all them new lanyards, gun straps in, all new paracord items. So you need to go down in the description if you want some Ducks apparel and check it out. But I wanna thank you guys for being here like always. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to be making little videos about how I video, isn't that cool? Uh, I, I'm glad that you guys are interested in knowing how I do this. It, it really shows me that my audience is very, very in tune with, uh, with what I do. And that's what I love about the channel is that I have really put a lot of time and effort into giving you guys what you want. So I really want to know what you guys want to see at all times. And when you tell me, I appreciate it all the time. And I want to thank you guys. There, there's, there's a number of you fellas that, uh, and gals that I recognize down in the comments down below. You guys are always dropping positive comments. You know how it is in the Bobby Guy world. Positivity every single day. I want to thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Drop me a big old thumbs up if you like this video. We will see you guys on the next one. Peace.